Hello, hello, it is Dr. Chris Raquel. I am back again with another video for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And send an email at askcrystalraquel at gmail.com if you have any questions that you'd like me to discuss on video. Um, I have a very important topic today. I would like to talk to you all about not engaging with demons or arguing with demons in other people. Um, a lot of times, people end up getting in controversy and arguments with people who actually have a spirit so you know there are the fruits of the spirit and you will know if someone has the fruits of the spirit that's going to be patience kindness um and there are a lot of times where people end up getting in conflict with people who they have no business talking to we have to use wisdom if you are finding that someone gets agitated equally um easily and you are now trying to you know say hey don't talk to me like this don't talk to me like that and you're getting into it with them be careful you or them may have a spirit you do not want to engage with people who are there to frustrate your life a lot of times people don't like to think about it, especially in the united states um i'm coming from a caribbean background and i also you know i have been um i'm very aware of the spiritual realm and how also how africans perceive it and what they know but a lot of times in, not, in the united states especially up north we don't think so much about those things but they are very real we when we're engaging in conflict with people it's usually not the person specifically there are different spirits that people have allowed to enter themselves you may say well no i'm a christian there's no way i can have a spirit or that person's a christian there's no way they can have a spirit but even if the person may not be able to be possessed by a spirit they can be being oppressed by a spirit or they may have allowed a spirit um, into their heart into their life um, and have given that spirit authority a spirit I know I just spoke in another video about bitterness um, just by being a situation and maybe something happened to that person it's very easy for then a spirit of bitterness to take root inside of them or someone could have done something that makes you very angry and rather than forgive you then now allow that spirit of anger to fester inside of you you've given that spirit authority so there are a lot of people who they are going around and they have um, an agenda to frustrate you and it's not even them it's those spirits that are inside of them so really be careful about who you allow in into your space into your life and um you know god is going to god is going to god is going to help you but you have to help yourself first so if someone i've been in situations like this right someone will be speaking to you about something and you'll be attempting to talk to them and reason with them in order for them to um you know see what see the reality of the situation they may bring up something from the past you may attempt to help them see things from a different perspective and rather than you helping you then end up giving them ammo so you may not even know that person may not even like you you may be trying to work on your relationship and because you've supplied certain information that you thought would help their situation or help them see things from a different perspective they guard that information to release it later on um i'm trying to figure out how i can how i can describe this scenario so let's say there's someone who, in your friendship circle who um ended up leaving the friendship circle several years ago i'll say 10 years ago and and one person ends up bringing that person up um, by saying, well, you know, I really miss so-and-so. Um, I would rather be around that person rather than have to attend this next event where another person is got. I should probably use like A and B like I did before. Okay, so person A and B are in a friendship circle, A, B, and C. C leaves the friendship circle 10 years ago. The issue with A and B right now, they're in a conversation, they're talking about um, attending a certain event for person D. Person A tells person B that they, you know, don't really want to attend this event. They're tired of always seeing person, uh, 
person E at this event, even though the event is for person D, they don't want to deal with it. Even though person E is also in a friendship circle, this person gets on their nerves. And then honestly, they really miss person C more than they ever want to see person E again because person C left that um, friendship circle 10 years ago. Then person B tells person A like, you know, it's no big deal. Person E doesn't mean you any harm, regardless of an incident that you claim occurred I'll say 25 years ago, they mean you no know harm whatsoever. Their person E is there to celebrate person D. And then person B also says, you know, I know you're talking about person C in the friendship circle, but I even heard um, person F told person D that person C was even trying to you know say untrue things about you so you're saying you want this person back into your life but this person is not even like a like a good person like that so focus on you know celebrating person d person e means you no harm they're also the person to celebrate person e then let's say person c maybe five years later comes back into the friendship circle and apologizes for you know everything that had happened for the reason why they left the friendship circle um and then at this point in time person a and b are not in communication because person a chose decided that they weren't going to go to that event and they're tired of everyone in the first friendship circle they want nothing to do with anybody so person c comes back and is in communication with person B now and says that they're sorry to everybody and person B accepts them back and then person A reaches out to person C a little bit later to check in with them in that conversation they are speaking badly about person B person D E F everybody they're talking to person C about that and then person C and person B are in communication separately at another event. And person C lets slip that person A was saying that people think that they're, um, you know, dishonest, that they shouldn't be trusted. So basically they're relaying back what person A and B had talked about when person C was out of the circle and person B was trying to warn person A. I know it's a lot. Hopefully you understood. My point is to say there's our spirits inside of people. So person, that person or you, you could be trying to give information to try to help somebody realize like, hey, you know, this is not... Um, you know, you're not seeing things correctly. You're not, you know, you have beef with this person over here. This person doesn't mean you any harm, but you're saying you miss this person. This person's not even in our lives anymore. And this person wasn't really good at how you think they are. So that person guarded onto that information to then be able to spew stuff and try to convince, you know, the other person who came back into the circle now, you know, people are embracing them with open arms saying that, you know, it's okay, we forgive you. And now holding on to information, let's say from 25 years, years ago that was said to them so be careful there are spirits inside of people stay on your a-game make sure that you're not releasing information um that could potentially you know cause pain and like i said i was just giving you a scenario and I was, it was kind of related to me in a way but yeah just be careful because guard your mouth there are spirits inside of people that are trying to wreak havoc their havoc they want to cause division they want there to be issues they want there to be strife they you know enjoy seeing chaos they are there to cause mischief be mindful don't just open your mouth and reveal things even if you think it's going to help somebody think of the spirit that you know is operating inside of a person because that can definitely lead you into a bad scenario um also there's spirits of people but like i said they just want they just want chaos um there's another scenario that i'm aware of where uh a young woman she was constantly in a listening ear and a sounding board for someone this person started talking about their relationship this young woman also knows the other person who's in the relationship and that person started talking about that person as well so they were just back and forth talking back and forth this person was trying to mediate and then to the point that person started getting confused that person started having um you know worrying about what's going on in that person's relationship just be mindful people have different spirits and oftentimes people don't even want to work on their relationships they just want to talk bad about it and that's also a spirit if you're you have a spirit where you want to just talk about your boyfriend or girlfriend your fiance fiance um 
or your husband or wife that is a spirit something is inside of you and don't just allow anyone to just come in your business come come start telling you stuff about their lives that stuff is going to stress you out it's going to cause stuff to start coming on you and a lot of times what i find is people start then start thinking about their own lives okay this person said this about this maybe that was happening to me so i didn't realize it so be careful of negative people they're those are spirits there was someone i knew back in the day i had to not be friends with them is that they they're much older than me i would say by maybe 12 years around there um or maybe any maybe 11 years and they maybe 10 they were so negative and i saw them as you know what they're older i can see why they're not happy where they are in this space in life then it got to the point where they started like you know talking about people around them and you know just saying stuff you know it could be funny sometimes but then it's like wait a minute this person's always talking about people it's too much and what i did what i tried to do when she would talk about like how she wasn't satisfied where she was in life and she wanted to do this program but then she thinks she couldn't do it she couldn't get in she even though there's no reason why she wouldn't and she would just would talk down about herself but then also be negative towards other people and then it got to the point where i was like mm, this is not somebody i want to be around then i remember i had a dream that she was talking about me and i was like uh yeah it's time for me to end this because every time i would try to speak life into her and give her positive things about our situation she would not want to hear it i would say uh yeah i hear it. no you're good you can do that you can do this it got to the point where i was like yeah no i cannot continue to have this person in my ear in my heart um and try to like help her because i realized she didn't want to be helped and that was a spirit i think she had a spirit of possibly bitterness from her life um you know and you know it just it just made me realize that people a lot of times there's not much you can do really recognize whether or not you are meant to be a help for that person that season because in that case that's okay but if you feel like you've done all you can you've tried to help them and they don't want to get out of that funk they don't want to get out of that space that they're in that negativity it's time for you to let them go and it probably is a spirit it could be a spirit in them that's attracted to you they may not even realize they have a spirit i want to make that clear a lot of times people don't even realize they have spirits inside of them and that spirit may be attracting them to you because that person wants to that spirit wants to bring you down so be careful pray for discernment um and when you realize that someone has those type of spirits it's time for you to release them it's time for you to back off usually um so hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know what you think have you been in any similar circumstances have a wonderful night bye